you call the cops, my wife, or the insurance company, I should have you know that this isn't going to be a case of insurance fraud. But instead, we're going to show you a tip that will make you go from white trash to white collar. So let me give you some context here. This week it was my turn to cook for date night. And Bonnie was getting sick and tired of me cooking Hot Pockets for the last 10 date nights in a row. So I decided to try something more cultural, more interesting and open-minded. I cooked her some uh, paninis, I think is what they were called. But unfortunately, I didn't have one of those Mike Tyson grills or whatever you call them. So I had to improvise and use the clothing iron that Bonnie usually uses. However, I ended up breaking it, which was very inconvenient, because it also happened to line up with the same year that I have to go in and get a job interview. Go figure. What a terrible thing of luck on my hands. Yeah. So I, just like that, I have to improvise and come up with a new way to iron my going out for dinner shirt. Step one. You want to preheat your surface. Now, if your neighbors wonder what you're doing, well, we haven't thought quite that far ahead yet. But, you just want to let this fire work its course, and then you'll have a nice hot work surface. S ah! ah! So now we have our surface preheated. We've got our shirt that we want to iron right here. We're going to put it on our surface ever so nicely. And then here's our toolkit for the job. We've got ourselves a rolling pin, a broom, and the almighty hammer. There we go. Get some of these wrinkles out. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Get a nice distribution over the heat. It is still a very warm surface, which is excellent. Maybe we should go from the safe way here. It's a little bit safer. There we go. Now I won't fall and kill myself. I'm going to make an episode on how to mend a broken neck. That day ain't going to be soon. So, as you can see, some of these wrinkles are beginning to disappear, which is very good news. But for those really tough wrinkles, you want to go in with the big guns. This will separate the men from the boys. There. All right, that'll take care of that. Now, if your work surface gets a little bit cold, you can always get one of these heat dish garage heaters that you get in the winter time to heat up your garage nice and good. You just put this on top of the shirt. Like so, firmly in the middle, and plug this into your extension cord, and then you'll be golden. Your shirt will heat right up nice and easy again, and then you should be able to press those wrinkles out very easily. And now we wait, and we just sit here, drink a beer, do whatever, let the surface heat itself up, and then life will be very good. <sighs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. We don't have too many fall days Bill. like this. Gets nice Bill. What? Bill, there's a fire behind you. What do you mean? Put out the fire. You're out of your mind. It's four o'clock. We're slating this thing, okay? I'm sick of it. What? Holy crap! This ain't good. Oh, he's gonna kill me! We can still salvage this.
And it's just that easy.